If you have a dog, you know they aren't very discriminatory in their eating habits. In other words, they eat things they shouldn't. Today we're going to talk about what to do at home to make your dog vomit up something it shouldn't have eaten in the first place. This information is no substitute for in-person veterinary care. Dogs have amazing digestive systems, and they're always trying to put them to the test, it seems. They'll put anything in their mouth and they'll swallow anything they can get in their mouth. From corn cobs to acorns to wood chips to gravel to plastic baking dishes, they'll swallow it all. Not all of these things are poisonous necessarily, but they can cause problems inside the dog's GI tract. They can cause irritation, which leads to vomiting and diarrhea, or in a worst case scenario, they can actually obstruct or block off the GI tract. This is a dangerous situation that often requires surgery. But if you happen to see your dog eat something it shouldn't have eaten, there is a way that you can get your dog to vomit it back up at home. Before going any further, I need to make an important point. Certain objects that are swallowed should not be vomited back up. Objects that are sharp or jagged, such as broken glass or fishing hooks, as well as caustic substances like acids and bases, can cause harm again as they come up. Therefore, they should not be vomited back up. You need to get in touch with your veterinarian to have these objects taken care of. The method I'll discuss here is useful for making dogs vomit. It should not be used on cats. If you have a cat that needs to vomit, get it to your vet right away. The secret ingredient here is hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide works by expanding as soon as it hits your dog's stomach. The extra pressure induces vomiting. You'll also need a syringe or something similar like a turkey baster. The proper dose for hydrogen peroxide is one milliliter of hydrogen peroxide per pound of body weight in your dog. What's a milliliter you ask? Let me show you. Five milliliters is about one teaspoon. Fifteen milliliters is a tablespoon or half a fluid ounce. Thirty mils is one fluid ounce and sixty mils is two fluid ounces or a fourth of a cup. Now that you have the right equipment and the proper dose, get ready for a mess. Administer the hydrogen peroxide relatively quickly, and it should have the effect intended. If you don't see vomiting within five minutes, you can repeat this dose once. If you don't see vomiting after a second dose, get in touch with your veterinarian. One last side note on hydrogen peroxide. Many people will use it on wounds to try to disinfect them. This does disinfect wounds, but it also damages the tissues that are trying to heal. Therefore, it's not a good idea to use hydrogen peroxide on wounds. Oh, hi. What other kind of vet questions do you have? Let me know in the comments and maybe we'll feature your question next. Things like sharp, sharp, yeah.